Hey guys, welcome back to the Liam Loves LEGO channel, and in this video we're going to be talking about the three new LEGO Star Wars 2023 sets that were leaked. So these were the TIE Bomber, the 501st Battle Pack, and a Micro Fighter of Slave 1. Now, the TIE Bomber is obviously the set that people have been talking about, and allegedly, um, according to Just Too Good, there was a Republic gunship which came out a couple years ago, and there was a vote on whether they should make that the TIE Bomber, or another set, and that set won. So I don't know if the TIE Bomber is going to be bigger than this, but this one is only going to be $65, so it's actually a pretty good deal. And uh, honestly, I don't know if I'll get this. My uh, Bureau doesn't really have any more room at all for sets. You get a TIE Fighter pilot, what looks like a Gonk droid, Darth Vader, and then some Black Woman that, according to Just Too Good, is apparently in like the comics or something like that, like newer comics. Uh, but not someone from any of the movies. Now, the last time we got a TIE Bomber, I don't know when it was, but I'm thinking about the black and blue one. Um, I don't know if that was the last TIE Bomber we got, but this one does look pretty cool. Obviously, it is weird because normally you don't see a TIE Fighter with this section, so it looks different, and I do like it. Um, $65 is actually a pretty decent price. It's not that bad. Um, like, they could have made this, like, in my head, 75, but thankfully they didn't. Um, so, I don't know if I'll buy this, maybe I'll wait for it to come on sale, because mostly, I don't really have any room left, so I'm gonna have to clear something away. Maybe that Mandalorian, pre Vizsla style ship. Uh, moving on to the next set, which, um, the video is horrible, it, like, like, I'm pulling it forward, but it's not showing me the preview. The 501st Clone Troopers Battle Pack. Now, I decided to buy the 501st set. Um, it wasn't, I wasn't, I didn't care about it when it came out. But I bought it before it was discontinued. And it probably is still available, but I thought it was going to get discontinued. Um, I don't really know why I bought it, because I'm not a Clone Trooper nerd. Like Mandar Productions. Like, I think Mandar Productions is literally, like, the driving force behind why kids are buying clone sets. Because... I don't think there's a lot of 13-year-olds watching The Clone Wars in 2022. I could be totally wrong. But there's this whole obsession with clone troopers and army building, which I've never been interested in. And I think Mandar Productions is a driving force. Regardless, this set is a battle pack. So it is not. it doesn't include all that additional stuff. And honestly, I think that set is almost just a bigger battle pack. I mean, the builds included there are builds that you could have had in a battle pack. Um... They're just, they're just, there's a lot more stuff in the set and the box is big. So this set only comes with a classic four-legged gun and then you get four troopers. Uh, obviously they are different types of troopers. There is a 501st clone specialist, officer, heavy trooper. So there's two heavy troopers. Um, it's pretty funny because they give the officer a pistol, but then the troopers have these stupid guns. So like... Um, Galaxy Squad guns, and then the 501st Clone Specialist gets a um, rifle, so the old style of rifle. Now, there's a set like this I'll put on screen. I wish they gave the helmet, um, the 501st Clone Specialist. I wish he had the helmet that you see there. But anyways, I'll buy this, but apparently Battle Packs cost $20 now, so that's part of the reason I didn't buy the Snowtrooper one because I don't really care that much about Snowtroopers, but there's just a different feeling when a set like that is $10. But apparently we're never going to get that back. The price of Battle Packs has expanded upwards. Um, so the third set is that Micro Fighter Boba Fett Slave 1. And um, maybe if I was 10, my parents would be like, oh, well, we're not buying you Slave 1. And if, if I was 10 in 2022, they'd buy me this, the Micro Fighter. And I wonder if any parents will do that this year. This is a good stocking stuffer, and honestly, some of the microfighters are just boring. Like, a Y-Wing microfighter to me is not cool, but, like, Slave 1's an iconic, like, design. It faces upright. It, it's actually doable in this, um, microfighter design. Like, you can do a TIE fighter, I guess, but the figure's gonna be poking out. But with this, they actually get Boba Fett in there, so it's a proper Slave 1. It doesn't cut any corners and make him, like, stand out. Like, his head is exposed so overall i think these are okay sets obviously this isn't like the entire 2023 wave leaked but um this is just a little bit of what's to come